The work in the uh, field of molecular arms race is really inspired by the character, the Red Queen, that was introduced to us by Lewis Carroll in his book Through the Looking Glass. And the Red Queen uh, tells Alice in this uh, sort of uh, nice book that it takes all the running you can do to keep in the same place. Very much the same idea was adopted by the evolutionary biologist Lee Van Whalen as the Red Queen hypothesis. And he argued that in a system where two entities are constantly competing with each other in this sort of battle for evolutionary supremacy, the only way for this battle to be resolved is just for one party to temporarily win before the other party catches up. And this requires both of these parties to be really running as fast as they can with this very rapid evolutionary signature formalized as the Red Queen hypothesis that's been used to invoke all kinds of very important principles in evolutionary biology, including the existence of sex uh, and why we actually evolved to be sexual creatures in the first place. So if you consider a host-virus interaction, this is an interaction that screams out genetic conflict. This is what we refer to as the usual suspects. It doesn't take a lot of imagination to understand that what is in the best interest of the virus will not always be in the best interest of the host. So in this cartoon example, you can see that we've got two states uh, described here. You've got the host uh, that is binding the virus on one side and the virus that has evolved a mutation to evolve away from that recognition by the host immune system. What you'll actually under appreciate is that these state transitions between one state and the other are really profound, but very simple from a mechanistic standpoint. What it might take is just a single amino acid mutation for the virus to gain one step ahead in this battle for Levrushi supremacy. So the important take home message from this kind of slide is, one party is always losing this high stakes evolutionary battle. On the left hand side, you can see that the host is winning because it is recognizing a viral protein. On the right hand side, you can see that the host is losing because the virus has acquired the right mutation that allows it to evade detection by the immune system which basically means that there's never going to be a perfect equilibrium between these two states. Over the course of evolution, and even the course of a single infection in a person, the immune system and the virus are basically be locked in this arms race of very rapid evolution. And because one party is always losing, there's always going to be an evolutionary advantage to be gained by innovation.